initialize is a symbol that lets you set an analog signal to a specific value with the push of a button, or with the trigger of a pulse. This comes in handy when you want to initialize, say, a volume level at system startup or system shutdown. To get an analog initialize into your program, click the logic folder under the program view, type in the speed key, I-N-I-T, and hit enter. Alternatively, you can expand analog operations under the logic symbols, and then click and drag the analog initialize over to the detail view. The analog initialize can have its inputs expanded, or it can have its outputs expanded, but not both. When the symbol is used with multiple inputs, the parameter next to whichever input goes high is transmitted to the output of the analog initialize. When the symbol is used with multiple outputs, each output will take on the value of its parameter when the input goes high. And what's neat about analog signals is that they're jammable, meaning that you can have multiple analog signals with the same signal name. Let's build a quick example program. We're going to use two analog initializes, one with three inputs and one with three outputs. The values in the parameters can be expressed as integers, a percentage, or a unit of time. For this example, we're going to be using integers as the parameters. The inputs to our analog initializes are going to be driven by our X panel. We're also going to take the outputs of the analog initializes and bring them back into the analog feedback of the X panel. And just for fun, we're going to include an analog increment to further demonstrate the effect of analog jamming and we're going to give the output of the analog increment the same name as the first outputs of the analog initializes, so out1. And that's all there is to this program. Let's compile and upload to our processor. Right, so here we have the inputs and outputs for each of the analog initialize symbols, and then we have some controls over here for the analog increment that we added in. Watch what happens to the analog outputs of each symbol when buttons are pressed. When I push the A, B, or C inputs, we notice that the first numbers in each of these boxes takes on the same value, and that's a result of the fact that we jammed the analog signals together by giving the outputs of these symbols the same signal name. When input D on initialize number 2 is pulsed, again the first numbers in these boxes take on the same value, the second and third numbers in the box take on the values that we specified in the second analog initialize. And even if I make little changes using the analog increment, we see that the numbers carry over to both analog initializes as well as the analog increment. So like we said earlier in the video, the analog initialize is really good for doing things like setting initial volume levels to a system when it's turned on or when it's just turned off. The analog initialize when used with the analog equate is also very useful for defining your page logic and page navigation on the panels that you design. Thank you.